Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. In the last episode, we took on the task of exploring Rockstar. We went through a desert, and we went through some rocky areas. Now we're going to go underground in order to uh, find the next set of Crystal Shards. But first what I want to do is, I want to go back to Stage 2 of Rockstar. Because there's a specific ability we need in order to uh, get the crystal shards in uh, that particular area. First thing we need to do is we need to inhale that axe because it gives us stone. But yeah. It's been a good while since I last got back to Kirby 64. I've mostly been doing uh, old school N64 games because, well, I just mostly been bored. And oh my gosh, I swear, I hate those little enemies. They turn out cute on the outs. They turn cute for one minute, and then they turn into a nightmarish, uh, a nightmarish like uh, creature. Anyway, what we want is double stone. Okay, and now we're going to proceed to level three. And we're inside a giant, uh, an underground sandy dune area, and I'm already losing health, dark on it. But yeah, with Double Stone, we turn into uh, a much larger version of Boulder Kirby. Which is pretty cool, I might add. And we can walk a little faster. But in some areas, we can't walk up straight. Eight. And look right there, there's our next Crystal Shard right there. But how do we get to it? Because this area is blocked off. Well, that's where the Stone ability comes in. Use Stone right there, and we can easily trample through that area. And we can get the Crystal Shard just easily. But I believe you can also use the Drill to basically burst through that area. And those little enemies that look like little black lights are different versions of um, Dark Matter, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, uh, we got the return of uh, the music we got earlier in King DDD's stage. But anyway, we're gonna go down. Okay, now we have two paths to go down. One to the left and one to the right. I am going to go down the left side. And our next boss is, is one of those uh, giant fish enemies. Whoa, don't wanna go down too fast just yet. Okay. And it looks like I chose the right side, because there's the Crystal Shard, the second Crystal Shard. Ah, dang. I still got... I haven't lost my touch, so that's a good thing. But if we went on the right side, we would have gotten those little stars right there. But oh well. Anyway, anything back in this area? No, there isn't. Okay, just, uh, just a star. But yeah, I like the music for this area, and I like the uh, atmosphere of it. We're basically underground, and we're in a sandy area with lots of sand. And, and there are enemies uh, galore. Oh, here comes an enemy right there. Uh, gotta be careful of that enemy. And if I remember correctly, uh... This enemy gives us Cutter! Yeah, I remember. And the fish doesn't give us really anything. And we reach the, uh, uh... Okay. Now we go into this area. Okay. More of those enemies right there. I think you only take uh, damage if you end up getting hit by them. Ow! 
anyway, going through that area. Just a lot of pitfalls and whatnot. Anyway, swim through here. Now we're underwater. I'm gonna take these three stars right here. Ow! Okay, nothing there. Oh yeah, we never heard the uh, lo we never heard the rest of this uh, song, but yeah, this is the long version of the rest of this song. And I'm gonna ignore the enemies right here because it's not really needed. Oh, and there's a bottomless pit right below us. If I'd fallen into that pit, I probably would have died. And we're getting close to another 1-up, so collect these few stars, and there's the 1-up. Now we're going to swim all the way up. But if I'm right, some uh, bones are going to start dropping from the ceiling as we're swimming up. Yep, there we go. What we want to do is we want to swim upward past all these bones. I really gotta tap the uh, A button right here. But yeah, I forgot to mention. You can swim by tapping the uh, A button. And there's the third crystal shard! Alright! Now we can get out of this area. Alrighty. I want the little cart right there. Alright. Okay. Now we move on to the next area of Rockstar. Um, let me see. I think I can get the power-ups that I need uh, at the beginning of this stage. Yeah. And there's an enemy right there from uh, Kirby's Dreamland 3. You would usually see that enemy and it, and you would be able to attack it. But, um, I think they're just background enemy characters now. Anyway, uh, I got the bomb ability. Now I just need electricity because there is a crystal shard at the beginning of this area that we need, but we need bomb and we need electricity for this area. Because I showed off the, uh, light, uh, the, uh, I showed off the light bulb ability in last episode. But anyway, we enter the, uh, mysterious, uh, spaceship. And there are cannons all around us. Ignore the can- Dodge the cannon fire, and I'm almost dead! Shoot! Oh god. Okay. Ugh. We come into this area where we got platforms moving, coming in and out of the doorway. And there's the cr first crystal shard that we need. Ugh. But I'm gonna go for that sandwich right there. That's some health. There we go. Now we got at least some more health. Ugh, darn it. That enemy right there is what I want, but I'm not gonna try and put it at risk. There we go! Oh no! It disappeared! Shoot! Dang it! I needed the electric enemy and I needed the, uh, bomb ability. But I guess I can get the Crystal Shard right here. Darn it. Okay. Ugh. But yeah. Another thing is, I like this stage right here because we're basically in a spaceship of all things. And it's, uh, well, these little platforms coming in and out of the walls are, are a very nice touch. Anyway. Jump up. There's Adeline, but we don't have the right ability in order to get it, so I have to exit. 
sorry to say. And I'm gonna get the, uh... Oh no! I... Ah! Ah! It's not responding. Okay. Uh, let me just pause and I'll see you guys right back when I get the ability I need, okay? Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Go up, 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 okay. There we go. Oh, and, uh, I need to mention that when we get the crystal shard in that particular area, a blue star will appear, and that will give us some additional points, so that way we can get, uh, some extra lives! But anyway, I want to jump up here, and this is what I was, uh, trying to get the bomb and electric ability for. The little light bulb lights up the panels that Adeline painted for us. Okay, we got a raindrop, a cloud, and a sun. Thank you, Adeline. Okay, raindrop, cloud, and a uh, sun. And this is what we need to do. Raindrop. Cloud. And... The sun! And there's the next crystal shard! Yeah, Adelaide will appear every so often to paint out clues to get the next crystal shard. You never know what it might be, besides painting us a bunch of, uh, various, uh, one-ups and stuff like that, which I'm very thankful for. But anyway, we come into this next room with rising pillars. Ow! I'm almost dead again. Okay. And I got my first death! Shoot! But now you guys get to hear what the d game over sound sounds like. And I ended up throwing away the ability. Shoot. Okay. Now, double electricity. Meditate, meditate, meditate. And there's the third crystal shard. Okay, now we can get out of here. I wish I had better commentary for this part, but eh. I work with what I got. I uh, just commentate whenever I feel that it's necessary. And yeah, if we stand on the ropes for so long, some of those little electric enemies will pop up. Alrighty. Well, I'll take the little star right there. That gives us a few more points for... Uh, the bar. But anyway, we come up to the boss of this particular area. We come to the boss of Rockstar, and I believe this boss is called Pix. Let's get started. Yeah, we can't do anything to attack Pix right now. Okay, second crystal, green. But yeah, another thing I want to point out is we're basically rising up in the tower. I guess we're rising up further into the spaceship. And there's the third crystal, blue. I also love the build-up for the boss music in this part. Ow! And here we go!
And here we go. This boss is actually pretty simple, believe it or not. All we have to do is just inhale uh, some of the little particles that uh, come up out of the ground and uh, shoot them at the uh, boss. Ow. But yeah, shoot green at green, shoot red at red, and eventually picks will fall. See? We've already taken out blue. But basically, Pix is not really that much of a difficult boss battle. Seriously. Just gotta inhale another particle. Ah, shoot. Oh, I got the red one. So all I have to do is just get green. And there we go! That's it! Managed to do that by the skin of my teeth. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, cutscene time. That is a very useful, very powerful ability Adeline has. <laughs> but now, it's time to move on to the next planet. Come on, Kirby! Alrighty. Our next destination is level 3. Aqua Star, but I'm gonna save Aqua Star for another play session. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. This is Leo Hightower. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards, and I hope to see all of you again in the next episode. Until then, stay golden. Peace! <laughs>